Uh, my name is Dominic Escoffier. I'm the head of Eden Europe. Um, that's a company from South Africa. We're a startup developing the Eden Snacker, which is this little device uh, that makes VR consumption easier. So with the handle, people can just hold the headset to their face like an Oprah mask. And it also makes the presentation of VR content easier because this also includes a tablet. So the people that are demonstrating, they only have to push a button on a tablet. And then as soon as the client holds the headset to their face, it automatically starts. So this is what, are, what we're doing. And we just announced it at this at VR Days Europe, which is the first um, virtual reality an product announcement of its kind on European soil. And me as a European networker and uh, evangelist, that makes me very, very happy. Um, working in VR is so exciting because we're pioneering. These, these are literally the good old days of our industry. We are here, we're creating the language for future generations, we're creating the products that hopefully a lot of industries will use, and we're, we're just on the, yeah, we're just spearheading the VR development. And many of us here believe, I think everybody actually, that in, t in five years, 10 years, maybe 20 years, maybe it'll take a little bit longer, but spatial computing will be a thing. And to be in this mindset and share this with other people is great if you're going to shows like VR Days. It's great if you're going to any other shows, go to the small meetups. Um, you'll see an enthusiasm and, and an ambition and a passion for a technology that you've probably never seen anywhere else. Oh, my personal history in, in, in VR AR was a little bit of a meandering through different, through different uh, industries. So I worked at Rockstar Games, so in the gaming industry. And through that, I had the chance to try an early prototype of the Oculus Rift, which was back then in 2012, was still a back taped prototype, literally taped to a pair of ski goggles. And um, that meeting, so Paul Malucky and Nate Mitchell, the founders of Oculus, they showed me that device and that meeting literally changed my life. So um, after that, I, I became a total VR enthusiast. I thought about how can I make this more, how can I get more eyeballs onto and into VR? And um, I started a community on the internet called the Oculus subreddit, which is by now one of the largest communities on the internet. I um, started the Virtual Reality Germany meetup group, um, started a nonprofit organization called EUVR to help bring the European ecosystem a little bit together. And then late 2015, I quit my job at Rockstar Games and started a, founded a, co-founded a startup called Realities. We went through Silicon Valley with that in a, at an accelerator at Boost VC. We met people like Taylor from Upload, and a lot of other like extremely influential and inspiring people from the industry. And then when we came back, um, NVIDIA offered me a role as their head of VR for Europe. And that is my story of VR. It's been ups and downs, it's been a crazy ride, but I would never have wanted to miss this wave. Um, never hide your passion. Um, I mean, I, I strongly believe that if people follow their heart and their passion and not necessarily the money, they will always be successful because that is something that in our young industry is extremely important that you feel you're on the same level when it comes to passion and motivation and enthusiasm. So never hide that. And you know, if you're passionate about something, you'll find a project that you can create. And with that, with those little projects, you can make a name of yourself and then maybe find a partner for building something bigger. So talk to a lot of people and be passionate. Um, I see a lot of challenges in uh, the in the fact that VR still has a little bit too much friction. So I, I'm very happy about the Oculus Quest because it allows you to just very seamlessly step into VR. And with the, with the product that we're, that we're launching in 2020, we want to do the same thing for enterprises because in, the, in like enterprise and public facing scenarios like in museums or car dealerships or other places, it's really hard to explain the technology, explain the controls, get people strapped into VR headsets, which ruins their look. All these things that add, add friction or charging devices, making sure the content's the right one. All those things are not easy enough in the, on, the, on the enterprise and public facing world. And so I think that has to become much better. So it just has to become really frictionless for VR to become a success. And Eden Snacker um, hopefully solves that in 2020 and beyond. I love the XR Bootcamp. It's, it's really great. I mean, it brings the influencers together. It's a, it's a great opportunity to talk with each other. And it's something that really needs all the support that it can get. So I'm very happy that you've invited me for this, uh, for this little video.